So I want to take a look at Matthew 21. I want to look at the parable of the two sons. Verses 28 through uh, 32, it says, What do you think? A man has two sons. He went to the first and said, My son, go work in the vineyard today. He answered, I don't want to. But later he changed his mind and went. Then the man went to the other and said the same thing. I will, sir, he answered, but he didn't go. Which of the two did his father's will? Question. I want you to think, think about that for a moment. Which one did the, the will of the father? The one who said, I don't want to go, but later changed his mind and went. Or the one who said, I will go, but he didn't. They answered the first person. Jesus said to them, truly, I tell you, tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God before you. For John came to you in the way of righteousness and you didn't believe him. Tax collectors and prostitutes did believe him, but you, when you saw it, didn't even change your minds then and believe him. I want you to think about this parable. John came to you in a way of righteousness and you didn't believe him. So this is saying that those who are actually living for Christ, those who are actually a miracle sign and wonder, you don't believe them. But the sinners, they, they, the prostitutes believed. The tax collectors, they did believe John. When you saw it, it ain't even changed your mind. You, your, your mind did not change. It didn't even call you to, to repent, have a heart of repentance to turn from your wicked ways. So you still chose to reject God. You know the word. You know God. You done seen him move in your life. But you still won't turn completely from your wicked ways and give your life to Christ. So this is why he says, surely, truly, I tell you, tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God before you. God didn't come to save the righteous. He came to save those who are lost. So to whom much is given, much is required. So if you know better and you still choose not to do better, that's going to be held. Uh, you're going to be held accountable for that. God holds us accountable for what we know. So that's 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 crucial. That's real detrimental because, you know, the word make oh, yeti my soul, you know it. And somebody that's that's the righteousness of God came to you in the flesh. A whole miracle sign and wonder in your face. And you still reject God. Woe to those. Repent. Be blessed.